All right, so when I was a kid, my parents had a friend named Bob, and Bob was going on a trip to Florida and wanted my parents to watch his cat, Tinkerbell. Now, I hated his cat, Tinkerbell. For one thing, she was a mean-ass cat. She would scratch the shit out of me for no goddamn reason. And secondly, she wasn't fixed, which meant she was always in heat. And if you've never dealt with a cat that's in heat before, then you don't know what hell on earth is. Just imagine a cat laying on the floor, meowing every two goddamn seconds of your life. Not really meowing, more like, uh, more like yelling. Meow, meow, meow. It's like the human equivalent of a guy laying in his basement in his underwear just yelling, Who wants to fuck me? Anybody? I'm down here. I'm ready. We'd be outside playing wiffle ball and shit. You could hear this goddamn cat from outside the house. Meow. Oh, God damn it! Would somebody just fuck that cat and get it over with? Michael, get your ass in there and take one for the team. And since she was in heat, Tinkerbell would always try to get out of the house. She was on a quest for some booty. She'd always end up in my neighbor's yard the next day. Like every other morning, the neighbor lady would have to bring her back over. Hi, I found your horny ass cat in my yard again. Now, originally, we were only supposed to watch Tinkerbell for a couple of weeks. But a couple of weeks turned into a couple of months. God damn it, Bob, when are you gonna pick up this cat? Cat? What cat? Oh, my cat, that's right. How's little Tinkerbell? Tinker tots these days. It's Tinkerbell, Bob, and I'm about to throw this goddamn cat in a river if you don't pick her up soon. Listen to this shit, Bob. <coughs> She sounds like a goddamn broken swing set. So we put up with this cat for about six months or so, until one particular morning, I'm out front playing wiffle ball, and the neighbor lady comes up to me. Hey, your cat got outside again. Oh, God damn it, Tinkerbell. All right, where is she? I'll go get her. Well, somebody ran her over with a car. She's dead. Holy hell, are you serious? Yeah, it happened right over there. You see the blood? Looked like a few cars ran her over, too. She didn't look much like a cat anymore. More like a puddle. God damn it, that's not even our cat. I'd say she's God's cat now. No, I'd say the devil's cat. Only dogs go to heaven. Shut the hell up, Michael. Well, what the hell did you do with her body? Oh, well, I scraped her off the road and I put her in the garbage. You did what? First of all, what kind of psychopath throws somebody's pet cat in the garbage? Like, you could have let us say goodbye before you scraped her off with a shovel. Meanwhile, the garbage truck is literally out front of her house, dumping her garbage cans. Oh, sick. What the hell is that? Well, it looks like somebody's family pet. Who would throw a family pet in the garbage? A real piece of shit, that's who. So I go inside to tell my dad that uh, we're officially the world world's shittiest cat sitters. Uh, Dad, Tinkerbell got hit by a car and died. Good. I hate that goddamn cat. Wait a minute, are you serious? Yeah, the neighbor put her in the garbage. The garbage? That's not even our cat. Yeah, it's the devil's cat, apparently. So now, we don't know what to do. Should we just continue on like normal and just lie to Bob? Oh yeah, Tinkerbell? Yeah, she's fine. Just fine. She's, uh... She's a little flatter than she used to be. So another six months go by, and we never tell Bob about Tinkerbell. I don't know what my dad's plan was. What, are we just gonna fucking paper mache a fake cat together? Try to pass it off as a real Tinkerbell? There you go, Bob. Have fun with your cat. Nobody knew. Until one day, my dad got off the phone. Well, we don't have to worry about Tinkerbell anymore. Oh, that's good. Did you finally tell Bob what happened? No, Bob's dead. He had a massive heart attack. He's dead now. Holy hell. Yep, so it looks like we're off the hook. Oh, well. <laughs> And that's how this cartoon ends. So the moral of the story is, pick up your goddamn cat when you're supposed to. Bad things happen when you don't. Bob never found out about Tinkerbell. That is, unless Bob was a shitty person and went to hell when he died. In that case, he probably found out. Welcome to hell. Here's your punishment. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, god damn it. BruceDude.com